So now we've got a ball that bounces around our screen. However, if you notice, it goes straight through our bat. So what we want to do is we want to make the ball bounce when it touches the bat. Now I'm going to use a separate script for this. So in my events, I need a when green flag clicked. And then I need from my control to a loop and a selection. So I need a forever loop. I'm going to put in there. And the selection, if then, that I put inside my forever. We want the ball to bounce if it's touching the bat. So sensing here in blue, if touching, we drag that little blue <coughs> so, rhombusy diamond out and we drop it in the space between if and then. And we choose if touching. Now I've called my bat bat. So if touching the bat, then I want my ball to turn. So I'm going to use a turn like so. But if it always turns 15 degrees, that's going to get really predictable. So I want to add a bit of random to my turn. So I use operators and we use that pick random that we've used here. Pick random, drop that in. And we're going to put in here 160 to 200. That will give us a fairly a reasonably realistic turn. So what we do now is we run our scripts and we see if the ball hits the bat. I'm going to make sure I hit it. There we go, I got a bounce. I'm kind of getting some reasonably realistic bounces there. You can And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a move 10 steps like that. So let's try again. There we go. That's sharpened the bounce up a bit. You can see that it bounced underneath there. Um, you can play around with these these amounts of turn, these degrees of turn here. To see if you can get your ball bouncing more realistically. Um, left and right. Mine seems to be going up and down quite a bit, so play around with these to see if you can get them get the bounce a bit more realistic.